The enchantment brought the door to life just as I hoped, but Doreen has a bit of a mind of her own. Maybe I can feed her. She'll let me through. Oh. I was at. Mm. Right, so but feed her what? Make it nice and tidy in here, this. like something that sounds like goo but hey let's see not even a door would find this edible okay okay so that's it is um right so let's try just garlic lettuce and salt nope okay So I just right. Let's just try garlic and lettuce. Nope, that's good as well. Right. Okay. So. So let's try lettuce and a sprout. Lettuce, sprout. Let's just do them two. Nope. Still a nasty piece of. Right, let's try salt, sprout, lettuce. Ah, night form sprout salad. That looks more like something. There we go. Uh, the door wanted a salad. There we go. Right. It's not a door that I would have made, but hey. So that's the that's a picture of the uh, dream light. Dark castle. Right. Okay. Let's keep going up. Let's see what the next door holds. And kapow! Take care of the uh, ice. And then clear all these forms. Make it nice and tidy in this scary looking. Oh! Luckily, I have got a lobster roll. Search for a clue. A clue! There's a clue. Right, let's have a look. No one will figure out how to get past this door. I made it disappear, just like me. Right, search for a clue. Read. Note to self, to see the door, try changing your perspective. Only with a blink of a mechanical eye can you unlock the way. Right, so, does that mean... There it is. That's got a big 
lock on it. Let's have a look at what this piece of paper says. Pick it up. It's just a lock and a key. Pretty simple, right? Wrong. I always had fun making this one. Well, that's the most important part. Having fun. Smash! Bam, 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 bam! she was here. Okay. Okay, cool. I'm not going to argue with that because she's up to level 7 which I need her to be to get on to the next um, quest with her. Alright. Noon torch. Oh, wait, right. Okay, so it depends. Dusk, dawn, night. So, if that's noon, that will be dawn. No. Dusk. Okay, so then. Would this be night then? Yeah. And then this would be noon. And then this final one will be dawn. Oh, and now I go fishing for the key. Most of the time I think it's my speakers on my laptop that cause the problems. Right. Huh? You again? How did you make it past all my doors? It was tough, but I did it. Well, sorry to tell you, but all your hard work was for nothing. I've already cast the spell. Not even I could stop it now. We can stop this together. Together? Ha. Yeah, sure you know if you hadn't abandoned me here in the first place, none of this would have happened. I never meant for you to be left behind. I didn't know. I just, I got caught up in my own life. More lies. Try to try and confuse me. All I want to do is make sure no one ever goes through what I went through. I won't let you ruin that. Please, I don't want to fight. I'm going to stop you, however I have to. Then you got nothing more to talk about. You asked for this. Let's go. <coughs> Kami, Kami. Oh. It was telling me to walk towards the light. I got told that you're never supposed to do that. Don't go towards the light. Talk. Where are we? Is this some kind of trick? No, I didn't do this. When our magics collided, it brought us here. Maybe it's... a memory. I think you're right. I think I 
think it's a place we share together, somewhere our oldest memories go. Then we must be, that must mean this sandbox. You remember it too, don't you? If something's not right about it, something is missing. I can fix it, I know I can. Focus magic. And now it's got the Pixar ball in a bucket and spade. Did you see that? The second we focus our magic, Samo looks like how I remember it. It started to come back to me too. Do you remember what it was like being just a little kid? The only limit was your imagination. Yeah, we used to play for hours, making up stories, going on adventures. I miss that. I wish I could be that way again. Maybe it can be. I wish you could believe that. Uh, whatever, just follow me. I think there's more stuff hidden in here. Of course there is. Oh. Meet the forgetting at the next life. A bed! This will be the storybook or the blanket or something. Talk. This, this was our childhood bed, wasn't it? But something about it isn't right. Something's missing. Do you think we can fix this one the same way we fixed the sandbox? Focus magic. <coughs> Talks about forgetting about what you've uncovered. Well, let me... Why is it not chatting? Why are you not talking to me? There we go. Of course, this feels right. This is how I remember it looking. I remember this blanket now, or at least a blanket just like it. I remember when I was snuggled under it. I'd spend hours. I'd imagine I was on an adventure. I forget about that. We would imagine the bed could fly. It would take us anywhere in the world that we wanted to go. But that was just kid stuff. Life can't be that simple anymore. Maybe not always, but you just because you're grown up doesn't mean you always have to act grown up. I guess not. Come on, follow me, there's more to discover in here. I'm guessing because I found four items, it means that there's going to be four things. So this is number three. Ah, this will be the drawing. Talk. This desk, I don't remember anything about it. I think I do. This was where I used to do my homework. Yeah. Homework. Homework was never my favourite thing. Ah, uh, me too. I remember wishing I could play instead. It was like being pulled apart. I wanted to play, but it, you wanted to work. There must be something else here, though. Something from before all that. Focus magic. And, oh, look. Picture. And... A train. Of course, before this desk was even a scary place for doing homework, it was a fun place, a fun place for creativity. I remember we used to sit here for hours and draw. Of course, I wonder where all these old drawings went. Probably in a box somewhere. I hope they didn't get thrown out. Now I all I use my creativity is making a dark castle doesn't feel the same. There's nothing stopping us from working together again, like we used to. I I don't know. Let's just keep looking around. Ah, uh, one more. There we go. Bless, 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 bless. It's a bookshelf. Looks sort of dusty. I guess we haven't touched anything on it in a long time. Life got in the way. When that started happening it was like a part of me was drifting away. But but if we brushed the dust off the shelf maybe we could make it look like it used to be. Let's uh, go there. Focus magic. Hop Woody. Is it Stitch? I oh, know it's a Buzz Lightyear. Talk talk. 
I remember now this bookshelf. It used to be covered in our favourite stories. We'd spend hours reading them together. Stories let us be whatever we wanted. Swore's letters. Even when we were just a little kid in a big world, stories would let us feel powerful. They let us be whoever we wanted. I wish I could be like that again. It can be, trust me. Growing up doesn't mean leaving the things that are important to us behind. You can hang on what you love. But what would you hang on to? Creative and play. When you were a kid, you hadn't figured out how the world works yet. There's just so no limits on what you can do. I never want to lose that feeling, no matter how old I get. Me neither. I guess there's still more of a connection between us than I thought. But that and I can't get what Merlin told me out of my head all of a sudden. Love, kindness, adds up care. You need those too, don't you? Now you're getting it. And the stories we loved as kids, they hold all of these things. Of course, so long as we remember those stories, the things we loved about being kids, they'll never be, they'll never be... Forgotten. Hey, exactly. Come with me. All of those things are waiting for us back in Dreamlight Valley. After everything I've done, no, it's too late. It's never too late. The spell I started, I don't know if I can stop it on my own. Then we'll stop it together. Come on! <laughs> come in, come in. Oh gosh. Ah, oh, okay. So that's the end of the main storyline. Okay, cool. <gasps> or is it? Check in to see how the forgetting is feeling. This isn't just for that's, small talk, is it? That was amazing. Everybody just accepted me for who I was. I thought they'd be mad. I thought they'd hate me. I guess kindness, love, care, it's like they're always waiting for me here, aren't they? As long as you're willing to give as much as you get. Thanks to you. This is... this is a lot. I hope you don't mind if I spend some time alone for a while, just to process. Take as much time as you need. Don't worry. I don't think I need too much time, but... I appreciate you for giving me the space. I can't believe how much kindness everybody showed me, even after everything I did. I feel a lot better already. I promise to keep visiting me in the dark castle until I'm ready to explore the village. You can't get rid of me if you tried. You've got too much. We've got too much catching up to do. That sounds kind of great. Oh, hey, before you go, I've got something for you: the orb of remembrance. Maybe now you can put it back in the pillar. Okay, put the orb of remembrance in the pillar in the forgotten land. Okay, cool. Let's go and do that. M. 
You know what? I've been up here a few times. I've never really paid much attention to where the pillar is. Uh. There it is. Oh, wow. Okay. So, talk to Merlin. That's Remy there. Merlin's still at Scrooge's. Hopefully we can still get... Steve, just who I wanted to see. You've done so much for the village, but there's still more to do. All in a day's work. Haha, <laughs> that's the attitude we need. Now, first off, even though the forgetting has been pulled back from the brink, we're still dealing with the side effects of the forgetting for quite some time. Why, already I've seen new nightfall sprouting. I just, I just caring for the village is a job that's never done. Too true. I'm glad to see you see it this way. There are still countless villages in their realms waiting for you to bring them back to the valley. And perhaps in time more do doors will open for you. Oh, and that's not all. Dreamlight Valley isn't the only place to discover in the world. There are many islands out there, each with their own secrets. Now, One day we may visit them all. Who knows what we might uncover. One day... <laughs> in any case, there's no sorts of secrets left to find. Right here in the village, I'm sure you'll keep making a splendid place for all of us to call our home. <laughs> the possibilities are quite limitless, aren't they? <laughs> Alright, cool. Right, so... Still got alien, new aliens to find. And I've also now unlocked Vanellope's next mission a uh, quest so because she got up to level seven so let's get that started there she is hey Steve Steve I know this what this place is missing ready you're gonna love it what's the your big idea we need to have boss battles you know that final epic struggle with a mega baddie that really put some sprinkles on your Sunday that sounds like, um, hmm, sprinkles. Yeah, sprinkles are great, especially the chocolate ones. But that's beside the point. Eyes on me. Challenging some villains to boss battles is a good thing. I'm a born racer, coded for competition. And when we played all those mini games together, it made me feel exhilarated. Bad guys just want to be bad, right? Let, let's help them scratch that itch. Uh, seems a good way to make some enemies. Trust me, my buddy Ralph and his game nemesis fix it feel it, battle it out all day, every day, and they're great friends. Here's the plan. We're going to battle three valley villains, but we have to prepare for things to get rough, so cook up some potions. Take these recipes. When that's done, find me and head, we'll head to Ursula's. boss up okay so um i also got the fairy godmother to level up uh also i don't know why there's a red dot still on here could be that i need to spend the stuff all right uh and got dreamlight Need to do seven, uh, three more dream lights, break three more rocks, do a whole load of fishing, cook three more meals, eat some food, and get some gems. Right. Right, 
I want to mine in three more places and get that one done. For one. Cook, cook three meals and complete three. Right. Sell two fish. Pick three coffee beans. Right. Let's go and get the coffee beans. Take a picture. There we go. All right, take a picture and have a daily discussion. There's Minnie. Oh, hello. Uh, you seem to like bows a lot. Yep. We, yeah, we've done all of them. Right, let's get rid of that, and then there's that one done. Right, okay, spend time with the Sorcerer's Apprentice. So I need to spend time with Mickey now. Right, okay, all right. Oh, right, I actually need to crack on and do some stuff. Right, boss up. Raspberry boba tea, mint boba tea. So giving me that. Impress a, li a wizard with something he loves, right? So give him free uh, his things. All right, we've got the patience. Are you ready for this? This is a really bad idea. Too late to back out now. Before you go in there, here's a big bustle hat. Watch out for an attack pattern. When usually Ursula raises a tentacle, it's go time. Great hint. Thanks, Manolope. Let's do this. We've got a competition in our code. Buckets of boba tea and each other. Destiny awaits. Enter Ursula's house. Alright. Let's keep going. Down to the beach. Hey, Ola. Got enough to do this. Not done Moana's boat. So browse. Collect all the fish. Alright, there we go. Yeah, before that might be the case. Oh well. Ursula's house. Battle Ursula. Oh, it's you, Angel Biz. I see you bought that squeaky little creature along. What can I do for you? I'm here to battle you. Battle me? Oh, that's delicious. As though the little old you could ever. Even as though little old you could ever help in best me. I know your weak spot. As soon as you raise your tentacles, you're done, villain. Mm. If I raise my tentacles, you and your sweet little psychic will be new residents of my garden. So my advice to you, scram. 
Have we got a deal? Regroup with her that weapon. That bustle bustle was amazing. Remember the part where she threatened us? We made her really mad. Yeah, you made the right choice to leave. She was going to turn us into fish food. Hilarious. My buddy Tammy's from this real intense battle game. And she's like, retreat is a strategy. To surrender is not. So, for the next, we're going to gonna have to level up. I think it's smart to get the advantage. What do I need? Glad you asked, my heroic charm. It's time to begin preparations for our final battle. You're a mystical hero, which means you need a magical kind of weapon. Go find yourself your mystical sword in the forest of valor. Where did you find this sword? I have a lot of free time on my hands, so you could say I just made it myself and hid it in the woods. Find the sword in the forest of valor. I'm going to battle the witch in the tree. Pretty sure she's low level. She'll drop some good power-ups. On earth. Ah, oh, so I've got to do some digging in the forest. Alright. There's the sword. Oh no, I've got to use my spade. There we go. Oh, and I need to... Um... Pixel sword and shield, and what's this one? Oh, it's a normal t shirt. Okay. Equip the pixel sword. There we go. Check on Vanellope's battle with Muffle Gossel, just in case. Does that just mean talking to her? Greetings, well, well, if it isn't Michael Pausty. Nope. No. Right. So, go down to Muffle Gossel. Oh, there we go. Prepare to greet candy coated destruction, which reveal your odious final form. Oh, you can't possibly be talking to me. Your manners are deplorable, dear. You aren't going to throw lightning or fire at me. Nothing. You're just a vain old lady who lives in a tree. I'm kind of sad for you. Old? Old? How dare you. This conversation is over. <laughs> hey, so I didn't get any cool power-ups. Turns out the tree witch was a total dud. I'm so stressed for you right now. Pff, don't worry. I've been to the internet and played games there. I've finished tutorials, more dangerous than some cranky swamp lady. Besides, you have your pixel sword, and we have the experience. I think we're ready to take on the final ba boss, Scar. Scar? What makes Scar the final battle? Oh, his lair is a ginormous skull. Duh! Actually, this sounds fun. I'm in. Woohoo! Game on, Steve! Here's what I'm thinking. We make a lure to bring him to his lair, and then we attack. I've been playing a lot of extreme fishing lately, so I know we need herring for the trap because they're super slinky, perfect for a scent lure. We need a kingfish to catch 
a wannabe king. Pretty sure you can find those on Dazzle Beach late at night. And some soft wooden fibre to put the whole thing together. Build the Scarlaw and place it near his den. Then pow, final boss time. Right, okay. Craft the Scarlaw. I don't know if I've got all of that, but we'll find out. I don't know if I've got king, um, kingfish. I can't remember. We'll have to have a look. Ah, oh, yeah, seems to got it all. Right. Okay. Place the scar law near scar cave. Is it too far away? Yeah. Meet Banana Pea at Cars Scars Cave. Hey there! You did it, Steve. Now we just wait until that big furball of a final boss is in his lair. Sweet mother of monkey milk, it worked. Let's get in there. It's final boss time. Enter Scar's caves. There you are. Oh, Steve, it's you. I have to thank you for leaving a mess outside my den. This is a great pre -bass boss battle banter. Battle? My, my, I must say I've been waiting for you to show your claws. This is the final bottle. Oh, I see you've brought that sticky little cub with you. This is some sort of a game. Prepare for a swift defeat. And how exactly will you defeat me? Uh, I wield my pixel sword. That, it looks as if a child made it. <sighs> this is becoming exhausting. Tired, your health is low? Yes, yes, you've worn me down. I can't possibly lift a paw against you. Sweet triumph. Bravo, you win this name trade. Now kindly get out. You did it. You beat the final boss. Sweet victory is yours. Being a hero looks good on you, pal. And whoa, look at that sweet Ludo on the ground. I definitely didn't drop it there for you to find. Okay, right. Did you see your special loot? What a well drawn and cool prize, huh? Um What It's a map, Gahoy. It leads you to some sort of treasure in the valley. I'd hang on to that, Steve. It might be good for a future adventure. One I'm quite finished planning. Right, okay, I think I'm gonna call it a uh, day here because a certain someone sort of woken up and is sort of wanting some attention so I'm going to take the dog out for a walk and we're going to chill out but we've done quite a lot today um, hopefully might be able to stream again tomorrow uh, so hopefully stay tuned if you're watching on YouTube like share subscribe do whatever you can if you want to come and join us on the twitch streams plan my disney make sure you come and join us it's a lot of fun and yeah okay all right i will see you all real soon